and Sexton's work explores the emotional turmoil of her personal struggles with mental illness, and in her collection, To Bedlam and Part Way Back, she provides a raw portrayal of psychological distress and the fragile journey toward recovery. Through a blend of confessional poetry and sharp imagery, she delves into the experiences of hospitalization, depression, and societal alienation, yet also expresses a desperate search for stability. This collection, which marked her poetic debut, resonates with an authenticity that stems from Sexton's own life, as she battled suicidal ideation and spent time in psychiatric care. Her poems offer an intimate window into the fragmented psyche, showing the interplay of fear, hope, and despair. The collection's title itself signals an unfinished journey. To Bedlam references the infamous mental asylum, symbolizing a descent into madness, while the phrase, part way back, implies a tentative return to normalcy or sanity, but not a complete one. This partial recovery is evident in Sexton's poetry as the poems fluctuate between moments of deep anguish and fleeting hope. She navigates through mental illness without resolving it, suggesting that recovery is not linear but cyclical, filled with setbacks and partial victories. Sexton's use of language reflects the chaotic inner world of her mind. Her poems often contain startling juxtapositions and vivid, sometimes disturbing, imagery that evokes the disorientation and alienation of mental illness. In one poem, she likens herself to a puppet who has been taken apart, illustrating her fragmented sense of self. This sense of disintegration, both physically and mentally, recurs throughout the collection, as she wrestles with identity and the pressure to conform to societal expectations. The act of writing, however, becomes a form of self-therapy for Sexton, a way to piece herself together through words even as she documents her unraveling. The tension between the personal and the universal is another prominent theme. While Sexton's work is undeniably autobiographical, it taps into a larger commentary on the stigmatization of mental illness and the expectations placed on women in mid-20th century America. Her depiction of the psychiatric ward, for instance, goes beyond her own experience to critique the treatment of those deemed mad. The institutionalization of mental illness, as portrayed in her poetry, is dehumanizing, stripping patients of their autonomy and reducing them to objects of clinical observation. In one poem, she describes the hospital as a machine that waits, emphasizing the sterile, mechanical nature of the mental health system. Sexton also explores the theme of motherhood and its role in her psychological struggles. The pressure to fulfill the role of the perfect mother weighs heavily on her, and the sense of failure that accompanies her inability to live up to these expectations exacerbates her feelings of worthlessness. In her poems, she often juxtaposes images of maternal love with darker, more disturbing images, reflecting the complexity of her emotions. This ambivalence toward motherhood is linked to her broader struggle with her identity as a woman, poet, and patient. In some instances, the maternal imagery offers moments of solace, but it also reveals her deep fears of inadequacy and loss. The confessional nature of Sexton's poetry, while deeply personal, invites readers to confront their own vulnerabilities. She does not shy away from exposing her darkest thoughts and experiences, yet there is also a sense of resilience in her writing. The poems move through cycles of despair and hope, much like the cyclical nature of her mental illness. In sharing her story so openly, Sexton challenges the boundaries of what poetry can express, pushing the limits of self-disclosure in ways that had not been widely accepted before her time. In this collection, Sexton's voice is both haunting and tender, as she navigates the labyrinth of her mind. Her work confronts the fragility of the human psyche, but it also speaks to the possibility of survival, however incomplete or tentative that survival might be. The poems in this collection are not just about mental illness, but about the complexities of living with it and attempting, however haltingly, to reclaim one's sense of self. Through her powerful, unflinching verse, Sexton captures the essence of what it means to be part way back from the brink of madness.